The Tokyo Olympics are scheduled to start later on this year in July of 2020, but due to unprecedented circumstances, the Olympics had to be postponed to the summer of 2021. On April 8th, World Athletics announced that the World Championships scheduled for the summer of 2021 were effectively moved to July 2022 to not conflict with the Summer Olympic Games. This opened the door for an unprecedented sequence of major championships in track and field history. First, the Olympics will be held in summer 2021 in Tokyo, Japan. They will be followed by the World Championships going down in July 2022 in Eugene, Oregon in the United States. We will immediately head over to Budapest, Hungary for the World Championships happening in August 2023. The following year, Paris, France will play host to the 2024 Olympic Games that summer. Finally, we will see another World Championships in 2025 in a yet-to-be-determined city. Usually, athletes will complete an Olympic cycle, which includes two World Championships, an Olympics, and an off year. For example, starting in 2015, we saw the World Championships in Beijing, China. That was followed by the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, followed by another World Championships in London 2017. Finally, the cycle ended with an off year in 2018. Because of the change, though, we will now see the five consecutive major championships I mentioned previously. This brings a completely different dynamic for athletes as they will now have to ensure that they are ready to peak and prepare for each championship without the choice or opportunity to have an off year to work on things, heal from injuries, or try something different in training or competition. So it begs the question, will athletes be ready to medal at all five championships? Can any athletes actually win five consecutive gold medals at all these championships? If we look back in history, there's a select group of athletes who have been able to achieve multiple medals at consecutive championships. First, there are athletes who have won medals of any color at three consecutive championships. For example, in the triple jump, we have Will Clay from the United States who won the bronze medal in 2011, a silver medal in 2012, and another bronze medal in 2013. Another example would be Sally Pearson from Australia who in the 100 meter hurdles won gold in 2011, gold in 2012, and silver in 2013. Now, both of them have other medals from other years, but this is just consecutively in a three-year championship cycle. If we go farther, we can see some athletes were able to cross championship cycles and win more than three consecutive medals. As an example, the 400-meter hurdler Lashinda Demas from the United States, she won the silver medal in 2009, the gold medal in 2011, a silver in 2012, and a bronze in 2013. Another example would be David Stroll from Germany. In the shot put, he won gold in 2011, a silver in 2012, a gold in 2013, and finally a silver in 2015. Now again, they may have won medals at other championships, but these are medals from consecutive championships. Now stepping it up even higher, we have athletes who have won three consecutive gold medals at championships. This includes Wade Van Niekerk in the 400 meters, Dwight Phillips in the long jump, even Amaz Ayana in the 10,000 meters, Stacey Drugila in the pole vault, as well as many other athletes. All these athletes won three consecutive gold medals in a single championship cycle. But finally, we have the cream of the crop, athletes who have won multiple consecutive championship gold medals. That includes athletes like Valerie Adams in the shot put and Anita Vidalchik in the hammer throw, as well as Usain Bolt in the 200 meters, Ezekiel Kemboy in the steeplechase. These are some of the best athletes in the history of the sport. This is a type of accomplishment that some current athletes will be looking to replicate over this upcoming five-year championship cycle. If athletes are able to achieve this, they would be joining an elite group of athletes in the track and field history books. So looking forward, who are some of the athletes that may not only be able to win five consecutive medals, but join some of these legends and potentially win five consecutive gold medals at these championships? First, of course, we have Mando Duplantis from Sweden. He is the 2019 silver medalist in the men's pole vault, but most importantly, he has a world record at 6.18 meters set just this year in the indoor season of 2020. We also can't forget about Sydney McLaughlin from the United States. She is also a silver medalist from 2019 in the women's 400 meter hurdles and ran the number two time all time with a 52.23 second run in that Doha World Championship final. Also from the United States, Noah Lyles in that men's 200 meters. He's a 2019 gold medalist from the Doha World Championships and also has a 19.50 second run, which makes him number four all time in the 200 meters. Yulimar Rojas from Venezuela in that women's triple jump. She's a 2017 and 2019 gold medalist. She also has the indoor 
world record at 15.43 meters set just this indoor 2020 season. She also is number two all time in the outdoor triple jump. Christian Coleman from the United States in that 100 meter dash. He's a 2019 gold medalist and the 2017 silver medalist as well. His 9.67 run, which ran him to the gold medal in Doha, makes him number six all time in that men's 100 meter dash. In Doha, we saw Sawa Eid Nasser from Bahrain run to a gold medal in the 400 meters with a time of 48.14 seconds, which moved her to number three all time in the women's 400 meters. And she also has a 2017 silver medal in that 400 meters in London. From Uganda, we have Joshua Cheptegei in those 2019 Doha World Championships. He ran away with the gold medal in the 10,000 meter run and also has a silver medal at the 2017 World Championships. His time of 26, 48.36 seconds makes him number 18 all time, but he also has multiple world records on the road at 5K, 15K, and also the previous 10K world record on the road. Yaroslova Mahuchik from Ukraine in that women's high jump, she won the 2019 silver medal in Doha. She has a best of 2.04 meters, which makes her number 15 all time, and she is one of the youngest athletes that I've mentioned, only 18 years old to date. Finally, Michael Norman from the United States in the 400 meters. He unfortunately got injured in Doha, so couldn't win a medal, but he has some of the fastest times in 400 meter history, specifically his 43.45 second run, which makes him equal number four all time in the men's 400 meters. Now, this doesn't exclude athletes like Donovan Brazier, Dina Asher Smith, Celephine Chespol, Juan Miguel Echevarria, even Shakari Richardson. The key here is that all these athletes are very young at the start of their careers and have already either been at the top or shown potential to be at the top in their respective events. So go in the comments below. Let me know if you think any athletes will be able to win five consecutive gold medals at these upcoming championships. And if so, which athletes do you think will be able to do it? Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again in the next video. Thanks.